What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sakina, and I'm back for another review. This is my review for Ready to Love. This is Season 7, Reunion Part 1. At first, I thought that this was going to be just like one reunion because on the description, it didn't say Part 1. And then it kind of gave the feeling that they had talked about everything that needed to be discussed. But then I forgot they really didn't get too much into... They got into it, but they didn't get um, in-depth about the connections or whatever. Uh, or the people who decided to be together at the end. So, listen these looks the best look was brandy for me i don't know for anybody else i liked brandy's look um i thought sharice looked nice but i definitely think that brandy is number one um followed by sharice um i love katie's hair i didn't hate her outfit necessarily i just think that the feathers looked a little cheap maybe if she got a a, a better high quality feather or something but i wasn't mad at her outfit i loved her hair i loved her makeup she looks Really, when I told y'all, when Kadian has no makeup on or a really natural beat, she's just like a really pretty, like, even though she get on my nerves, she's such a pretty girl. Like, I just love her natural state. Um, who else? Child. Trinika looked like somebody grandma. She looked like somebody who would be eating at Princess Tiana restaurant, okay, in her 60s. She looked old. Like, the, the hairstyle, the outfit, she even had her grandma glasses on later in the episode. I'm like, bro, because I did watch this uh, yesterday. I just didn't feel like really doing a review or whatever. So, I'm like, girl, what is happening here? I just, who else looked a mess? Dominica. Girl, Dominica. No, ma'am. You was the worst, sis. That Bob. I don't know what was going on with her hairline. I feel like, you know, she should have just got a bang. I mean, you definitely embrace your flaws. But if you would have hit us with a bang, that, you know, that would have did you some good, sis. But that that shirt, you had cheetah print leggings on. And, like, they were, like, purple and pink, I think. And then she had a hot pink shirt with, like, all this floral stuff right here on this one side. And then you look at her shoes. Her shoes was, like blue and yellow or something something totally off from the entire outfit girl what in the entire fuck? like no ma'am that look was the worst look y'all know i don't like um shakira and her fashions um you know she looked better than she did within the episodes but it still was just a no for me um i did not like mike's outfit if we're gonna talk about the men didn't like his outfit like where was your jacket at if you was going to do that, what was your blazer? Um, I can't think of nobody else. But they start talking about the lust and temptation of Miami. And Katie says she think that despite the lust, it was easy to find love. Because within love, you know, you want to lust for your partner. I mean, yeah, but y'all, y'all was just lusting. The connections really was not there. They really were not giving. <sighs> Devin over there licking people's toes that he just met disgusting he got a foot fetish as i assumed he got sharice's toe saved in his phone he's talking about he came into the process wanting to be really him and you know showcasing that i mean okay you got a foot fetish and you also be denying your son so i mean either way it's not a good look i mean you can have a foot fetish but the kid part sir please move on Ra Ra and jamala child listen so basically their connection is still going through with the process. They experiencing turbulence. Ra Ra is dating other people to her knowledge. And um, one could very much so assume that it's Kayla who is squirming like hell on that other couch. She rolling her eyes when they talking about connections. And, you know, she, she squirming and shit like, okay, well, I mean, obviously, sis, y'all still got this love triangle going on, so... Go ahead and spill it. They don't want to say what it is that's really going on or who he's dating. Even Trinika got a little facial expression. But, of course, Kayla is more expressive than anybody. So, and Kayla, girl, I, the hair still ain't right. Entirely too much shimmer. Ugh, Jesus. Okay. So, yeah, they on the rocks. They don't want to give the details. But, like I said, we need more background information on what's going on. And I do want to say that Jamala... Sis, the makeup isn't as harsh as it usually is during the show. I like the hair. You look more youthful here. I could believe that you're 33 here. But during the show, it was giving me 
forties. I'm gonna just be honest, but you know, you was looking fresh, young, and vibrant here. So I give you that. And Randall, I like you with a low cut, but something just wasn't sitting right with it. Like maybe you need a new barber. Something gotta give. I don't know. Something going on, Randall. That I I, I like the low cut. I love waves on swim. But your barber was hating on him because I just don't get it. <laughs> Someone right. But yeah, um, Randall and Jamala, they're no longer dating exclusively. There's other people in the mix. And of course, we know it's people within the cast. Child, this is just a mess. So we get into Cherise, who was ready to rumble versus ready to love. <laughs> and uh, right off the bat, like, Zoe was just so ready to go in on her. Like, you can tell. But before I even jump into that, they talk about Dominica. Um, and just, you know, Sharice's confrontational personality. How she's so blunt. How she speaks her mind and all of that. She said that she does know that she can not come off harsh and, you know, a bit strong. So, she's trying to peel back on that. She's trying to not be so guarded and tough. And, you know, just kind of be a little softer, I guess. So, uh, Tommy asked if anybody was offended by anything that she said. You know, of course, Dominica said, huh, me, my stage name, like, insinuating that I was a stripper. Now, here go the Cherise being fake. She was being fake in this moment. Well, you know, um, I wasn't saying a stripper. I just said staging, stage name, you know, performing arts. Girl, please. Even Tommy was looking like, now, girl, okay, we ain't even about to do that because you already know. And Dominica said, baby, we in Miami. When you say stage name, this sound like Cardi to the stage. This sound like Cardi with the brace. Hey, Jermaine Pre, baby, money ain't a thing. <laughs> okay, don't do that. You already know what stage name mean. You know what you was trying to do. You were saying that she was loud. She had her legs open. You were talking down on her as if, you know, she was just out here looking crazy and looking like she was ready to anybody at any given moment. Like, don't act like you was trying to give her any type of compliments because everything that you said about her was shady and you was loud and wrong. And like I said, it was funny how she said so much about Dominica and they both was in the bottom. So it's like, girl, you think you up here when it come down to this woman whole time? Y'all both in the bottom, same level. Okay, bottom two. Anyway, Dominica didn't feel that. Uh, Cherise said that she did call her immediately uh, the day after or something like that and apologized. And, you know, she was singing her praises and all of that. But it's like, mm, okay. So then Zoe jumped in. I don't even know how he jumped in, but baby, he was ready, okay? You fake. Your personality is fake. You fake. That's all he kept saying. Fake as fuck. Fake as fuck. Okay, bro. We get it. She's fake. You said this on the show. And even when they was playing it back, like, Randall was looking confused. Swayze was looking confused. Like, dang, why he going so hard? And, of course, he couldn't wait for his moment. It's like he went there to, like, go off on Sharice. It was like, okay, like, giving bitch boy energy. Like, I just, I don't like Zoe. He's way too passionate. It's okay if you think she's fake. But, like, it, he could not wait to say that. Like, you could just tell he was even flustered watching her playback. He mentioned something about an ex-boyfriend that she drugged. And then everybody behind the scenes was like, oh my gosh. Like, he really went there. He brought up some dude that came to the bar. Like, Tommy, why you didn't, why you ain't asked about that? Because what dude? You need to be asking questions. I understand you don't want them to be arguing and stuff. You'd be like, hold, hold on, wait. Okay, yeah, calm down. Now, so what happened? What's this boyfriend that you're talking about? What he did? She did what? Did anybody else know know anything about this? Like, you know, he don't know how to be messy and mediate at the same time. Like, you need to ask the right questions. Oh, God. So, yeah, there was obviously something that happened behind the scenes that we'll never know about now unless we watch somebody's interview. So, then we get into the first love triangle. That's Mike, Brandy, and Kayla. Kayla, baby, the back of the head, she had some of her curls, like, from the back, like, in the front like this. Baby, they were not curled, and it definitely gave that you were wearing a synthetic wig or something. Like, sis, what is going on? But that's besides the point. So, Brandy said, you know, even watching the playback, that she could see the chemistry there between Mike and Kayla. Like, it was there. They were way more affectionate than she and Mike were. And she was like, yeah, I mean, there was definitely some jealousy there. And Kayla was saying that um, she felt as if 
they had a stronger connection that Kayla and Mike had a stronger connection than her and Brandy and that um you know there was a raw realness there and here in the background you hear Kadian he's asking Randall how do you feel with your connection saying that he likes or she had a stronger connection with Mike Randall don't give a damn he like cool so what okay so then she said that she also felt like the connection was stronger and then Katie and goes again, turns around to Zoe. Oh, you know, you're the reason why the connection did not go the way it did because you kissed, the, you kissed Kayla. And Mike said that when we went to the vacation house that that's the reason why he couldn't get the whatever the hell she was saying. Like, girl, uh, hush. It's just like, okay, so then Mike agrees with Kayla. You know, they definitely had a lot of the same qualities. They were too much alike. And that's the reason why he couldn't go further with her or whatever it is. And he said, because she had too many options. Okay, so you had options and she had options, but it was a problem. Child, I'm not. Nobody got time for these stupid ass excuses that these men love to give. It's always a double standard. So yeah, Dominica, she feels some type of way or she feels slighted because she thinks that Mike didn't give her a chance from the first mixer. She said that they graduated in the same class, I think. They were in the same neighborhood. So, you know, she was using it as a way to break the ice with him at the mixer and he was very standoffish. So she's like, okay, you definitely was trying to not give me a chance. Like, I feel like when you meet somebody, you try to give them a fair chance and he did not give that to her. And she said, once I found out who he was dating, I definitely feel like he was trying to get me off the show after that. And Mike is like, I mean, there's 10 other people here that you could have got, gotten to know. Everybody said your name at the deliberation. I don't know why you think that I got the power to just send you home. Like, sis, what are you even talking about? And she was like, uh, Tommy was like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. What you mean other people that he dating? And she was like, um, I'm not going to say it because we recording. But um, it's somebody that makes strawberries and her name start with a J. So then I was like strawberries hold on like it just clicked to me i was like y'all remember on the finale mike gifted brandy with some chocolate covered strawberries let me find out his sneaky link is the strawberry lady who made them strawberries for brandy baby okay there might be a little hold on y'all know i'll be working in um I'll be working in and working. Okay. Let me put my name on this case real quick. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to solidify. Solidify my cases, baby. I'm going out of town this week. I need to make sure my uh work is up to par. So anyway, yeah, like, let me find out you playing games. Now, of course, Tommy is like, so what's, what is she talking about, Mike? And he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't dating nobody right now. What, what, what we here to focus on is me and Brandy. What, or what he said? He said something that was giving me, oh, you lying. Hold on, let me find it. That's what he said. Outside of this, that's irrelevant to me right now. What we trying to focus on is me and Brandy. That's all it's going to be. Oh, it's giving lies. When people be like, we focus on what's going on right now. That's like a deflection. Like, stop worrying about what's going on with the other girls that I talk to. Let's worry about the person that's right here in front of me. Ah, Mike, nope. See, let me let me find out that show is doing wrong by Brandy. Jesus. Okay. So, yeah, it, I just don't trust it. I just feel like, Dominica, what was your point in saying all of this? Because... Even when Mike was like, I'm sorry if you felt like, you know, I, I didn't pick you. And she was like, I I didn't want you to pick me. I didn't even know if I was going to like you. Okay, so then why are you speaking on it right now? Like, why was that? Like, if you just wanted to get out that he dating somebody, that name start with a J and make strawberries and just say that. But then the way that you're leading with it, talking about he didn't give you a fair chance and all of that, sis. It's given that you salty because... You really wanted to get a connect, have a connection with this man, and you got eliminated the first time, so nothing even came about. Like, if you really wanted it, then you should have went after it. Well, shit, she did. That's when Sharice was like, girl, you loud. I forgot Mike was the one in between them, and he was kind of uncomfortable. But nonetheless, sis, I mean, you can't put that all on him. It, the connection just wasn't there. So then, Katie is still pressing on and talking about Kayla kissing Mike, and that's the reason why that connection wasn't as strong, because... Even Mike said that in front of Brandy that they couldn't press on the way that they did because 
Kayla Kizzo. Y'all know how I felt about Kayla Kizzo. I felt like she was just doing it for the sake of doing it. She was just going around kissing any and everybody who was willing to kiss her at that point. But then Zoe was like, nah, it's Swayze's fault for losing the bowling match. Remember her and Swayze had a connection early on in the process, Kayla and Swayze did. So then Swayze was like, nah, maybe it's because I'm, I'm, I'm not old. If I was old, then I would have won. So then well, Zoe was like, okay, what sense does that make? Like, what are you even talking about? So Swayze gets all up in arms about this comment. And I'm confused. Like, it, he went zero to 100 and it made absolutely no sense. He started taking off his blazer. He getting ready to fight and all it is. Uh, Devin had to pull him back. They had to take him out the room. It's just like, why Why did this get so escalated? Like, it, it confused the hell out of me the first time I watched it. But it also goes back to... Katie, and I'm not going to put it all on her because Swayze was definitely doing too much. But it goes back to Katie, uh, Katie always opening her mouth trying to stir the pot. Like, why are you so invested? Like, why do you keep pressuring him about, you know, this is your fault. This is your fault. No, it's not his fault. It's not. That's not even that deep. Because if Mike really wanted to get down with Kayla, then he would have. A kiss ain't going to make or break a situation. So let's just be real about that. This is like, child, shut up. Shut up. So why ain't it Randall's fault, too? Because she kissed Randall, too. Like, shut up. She's just always in somebody's business. Like, mind your own business. And Swayze, calm your ass down because you look stupid as hell. So Zoe was like, you know what? I'm out at this point, child. He went straight to his car. A producer was like, we ain't even done yet. He was like, listen, I'm headed out the country later. Like, baby, I gotta go. This show don't make me. I got a $35 million portfolio. This show don't make or break me. I hate when people be doing stuff like that. Like, if that's the case, then why did you bring your ass on this show? If you didn't need it that much, why did you come on this show? Because a lot of y'all come on here for exposure. There ain't nobody, everybody ain't watching uh, Ready to Love. This show going to give you only but so much publicity, and then it's going to run short. So it's just like, oh my gosh, I just, you don't even my million dollar portfolio. All right, you injustice. You should have took him too. Both of y'all could have got the hell out of there. Shakira, you still don't make no sense. I'm still team Katie on all of this. I'm not apologizing for something that I did not do. Even though Katie did say that she reached out to Shakira, and Shakira ignore her on Instagram. It's just like, I don't even know why you reached out to her on Instagram because you did not do anything wrong. Even the cast is still confused as to what's going on. Kayla asks them, okay, what's her story? Like, what is it? Uh, uh, Justice, like, her kid. And Kayla was like, that ain't even it. See, nobody knows what's going on. Jamala was like, oh, yeah, Shakira is definitely milking it. Go, Katie. Exactly. Everybody is rooting for Katie in this situation because it's like, sis, what you're saying is ha happened did not happen. And you, she still, you, you, you brought up my story unnecessarily. No, she didn't. She never said that you experienced domestic violence or anything like that. So what are you even talking about? Like, I don't, we don't know what happened to you exactly because you did not share that. So then you go and blame it on Katie and it's just like, girl, what are you? It's, it's still, still don't make sense. Still milking it, still playing victim. Yes, you are a victim of something, but you're playing victim in this situation as far as Katie and doing you wrong, and she did nothing wrong. Like, girl, shut up. I just can't. So then um Tommy told everybody that Zoe had left the building. He asking uh Swayze what happened. Swayze can't even tell him what, what led to this whole situation. I don't even know what he said. He was talking to look at the mouth. Sometimes you got to let people know. He said something and then I said something. Then I said something and he said something. And I said something and he... You don't even know what happened. You just, just ready to take your blazer off to do nothing. For him to walk past you in the hallway and you do nothing. Like, it was just that the pointless as hell. You're acting all big and bad for what? He ain't do nothing. Baby girl, I hope Vision's blurry, but all I see is you. Bring it to the no. Okay. No. Bring it to the new. <laughs> LJ, what the fuck was you saying? Bring it to the no. I don't know what I was saying. Baby girl, I hope you got the feeling. What in the 80s hell? LJ, mm, now if you was going, I need to hear this on a on a track, okay? 
Maybe it's like, you know, some type of reggae music that he trying to get into. Maybe I can hear it. You know, I can feel, I can get the feeling that he talking about if I can hear it to a reggae beat or something. But as of right now, baby, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and hang it up and continue to work for the government and make your presentation and speech engagements and all of that, okay? Don't quit your day job, baby, because that singing, yeah, no. <laughs> Child, LJ is the lover man from the island that is getting the girls with that accent. He is dating Trinika, Sharice, and Looney, and his ex, who he seen that morning. Child, listen. I mean, they all seem pretty fine with having their days of the week with LJ. I don't know if any of them are getting intimate with him. I would like to, you know, I would have liked that question to be asked. Um, it doesn't seem that way because all the girls are, you know being real chummy chummy ain't nobody being jealous or nothing like that maybe they just really cool with him like i said he's still uh friends with his ex he's talking about when you find genuine connections you know it's just hard to let go but y'all not keeping it just on a friend basis y'all still smashing so okay whatever <laughs> Ciao. okay what's next Child, then we got down to the messy moments of the show. And of course, <laughs> one of the biggest ones was Sharice and Katie and going back and forth at the little outing with Mike and LJ. And how Katie was like, wow, wow. <laughs> Denying that she wanted a friendship with Sharice and all of that. So Tommy started asking about that. And you know, uh, Sharice did say that Katie and had a sugar daddy. Meanwhile, Samson is like, Sharice ain't lying because she definitely mentioned that before. I was like, okay. Katie, I don't understand why you're lying about having a sugar daddy or whatever because obviously it was before the show or during the show. I don't know if she thinks that this is going to affect the relationship that she has with Swayze. I don't know. But since, I mean, if you got a sugar daddy, do that. It, I mean, it is what it is. So then things got heated. Uh, Katie and start calling Sharice fake and she was like you was just you know over here talking about how you wanted a friendship with me and Sharice was like I mean I adore you or whatever she was saying so I don't think that that classifies her as being fake I don't think that I think that you know she had her back with the whole Shakira situation they obviously had a bond earlier in the uh in the journey or whatever you want to call it so it's like I mean if Sharice wants to reach back out to Katie and and, you know, feel like, okay, let's, the show is over. We can stop all the cattiness. I don't see a problem with that. But it's Katie who doesn't want to move forward. So it's like, I mean, how was she fake? She was the one that was fine with y'all being friends. You downplayed the friendship in front of LJ and Mike. And then you get on here and you talking about something, you going to slap her. So then that makes Sharice get up and was like, slap me. I don't feel like whatever... Sharice was saying cost for all of that. I'll bitch, I'll slap the fuck out of you stuff that Katie was giving out. Like, yeah. Girl, stop being friends with her. I don't think that Sharice, I mean, you definitely got some flaws with you, you know, with your bluntness and then you backpedaling as far as you know what you said about Dominica. Zoe pointed out that she reached out to him after he got eliminated, asking how was he doing. I don't classify that as her being fake. She was just trying to see how you was doing. That don't mean that she was trying to get with you or nothing like that. It just seemed like she can let stuff roll off her shoulders. So, I mean, I don't know. Sharice wasn't my favorite person throughout this uh, season, but uh, Katie was definitely my least favorite. Well, shoot, no, because then I ain't like Shakira. I ain't like Shakira. I ain't like Zoe. I didn't like Justice. There's a few people. I ain't, I ain't like Devin, the deadbeat. Child, oh, girl still had the damn headband on her head that I didn't like. April, ain't that her name? I think she had a, a, a damn quilt for a dress. It was like quilted at the bottom and be dazzled on top. And then she had a black headband. Child, just, just get, let me get off of here. Because I keep talking about these people and the way they showing up on camera. Let's get down in the comments and talk, y'all. We gonna uh, stick around for part two next week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.